Welcome to the Mason Libraries tutorial page. After viewing this tutorial, you will be able to define qualitative research, decide when qualitative research methods are appropriate, and understand the benefits of qualitative research. Qualitative research usually involves data in the form of words. It often has a small sample size and is used to discover themes or to understand experiences or ideas. Because of this, some qualitative research is not generalizable. Qualitative research is used in many different disciplines and fields of study. It is most often used in the social sciences, like sociology, communications, and political science, and in the humanities, like history, literature, and philosophy. It is less common in fields like the hard sciences, technology, engineering, and mathematics, but it can still show up occasionally to study the way that STEM ideas and technologies are understood or used. How do you know whether you should use qualitative research for your question? First, think about the goal of your research project. Are you trying to research a smaller population? Are you planning to spend lots of time with the ideas or experiences you encounter in your research? Maybe you want to gather information by interviews or to closely read and research specific texts or cultural objects, like political speeches, movies, or works of art. These are all examples of times to use qualitative research methods. How can you put qualitative research into action? Let's take the example of the following research question. What administrative communication techniques are most impactful on informing first-generation undergraduate students in the United States about online mental health support since COVID-19? There are lots of different research approaches that could answer this question, which we talk about in the other videos of this series. But in this video, we're interested in answering it qualitatively. We really want to unpack people's experiences with different outreach techniques about mental health support and to closely examine how they feel about and react to them. There are many methods a researcher can use when conducting qualitative research, including ethnography, content analysis, and focus groups. One of the most popular qualitative research methods for understanding personal experiences is conducting interviews. For our project, we will interview first-generation undergraduate students and ask them about their experiences with finding online mental health support and how they feel about different kinds of communication from the university administration. Then we will do something with the interviews called coding. We'll go through the interview transcripts and tag or highlight different passages that use the same keywords. Coding helps us make the patterns in the responses explicit. That can help us and the people reading our research know that we aren't just guessing or assuming people's responses we are identifying evidence. Once we have coded our interviews, it becomes much easier to find patterns in the responses we have gathered. We can also take responses that use different keywords and analyze their similarities and differences by close reading. The last step is to describe these results and patterns. It's very important to write about what you actually learned through the interviews and analysis, rather than just looking for answers that confirm your assumptions. There are many benefits to this approach. It can capture new ideas that we didn't know would be present in our data. It can clue us into people's subjective lived experiences, like how they feel about different online mental health services. Qualitative research allows for a lot of depth, complexity, nuance, and flexibility that is invaluable in any research about humans and human experiences. What if qualitative research isn't quite what you're looking for? Check out the other videos in this series to learn about other research methods. In this tutorial, you learned when qualitative research can be used and what its benefits are, and you saw an example of a qualitative research method that used interview coding. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have other questions, please refer to our ever-expanding How Do I page or use our Ask a Librarian service.